Hey guys, Anthony here with an updated tutorial on how to create a logo animation in FlexClip, a cloud-based video creation app with which you can create different types of videos using pre-made video templates or create videos from scratch. So here I'm logged into my FlexClip account. In the left side panel in the top left corner, click on this create a video button, which will Take you to this page where you can choose the format and aspect ratio. I'll go over the default 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is landscape, and I'll leave it on the timeline mode and click Get Started. It will open the FlexClip video editor. Let me close this import media dialog box. At the top left, I'll click in this box to give it a project name. I'll go with Logo Animation Demo, and then hit Enter on my keyboard. It automatically saves the projects. We are currently in the Templates tab, and here there are many different categories, as you can see. I'll use this search box at the top, and type in Logo Intro. It will then display many of the different logo animation templates. Let me scroll down. As you can see, there are many different logo animation templates here. If you hover your mouse over a specific template, it will give you a quick preview of what the logo animation looks like, as you can see. So I'll click on this one, and it will select it. If I hover my mouse over the template, you can click this plus button and it's going to be adding it to the timeline below, as you can see. Let me delete this default blank scene. I'll right click on it. You'll see this dialog box, and I'll choose delete. And the default scene is now deleted. In the preview section, you can click on this play button to get a quick preview of the logo animation template that we're going to be using. Next, I'll click on the logo placeholder and I'll go to the media tab in the left side panel. I'll click on local files. I'll navigate to my folder, choose my logo image, and then click open. Next, I'll drag and drop the logo image that I just imported onto the placeholder, like so. I'll adjust the size of the logo using these handles and then reposition it. Next, I'll double click on the text behind the logo. And in this section to the left side, I'll edit the text to How To Tutorials. Next, I'll adjust the size of the text box using the handles like I did before. In this left side panel, you can use these preset textiles if you want to. Also, in this top toolbar, you can change the font, the font size, color, background color, alignment, etc. Also, if you click this motion button, in this left side panel, you will see several animation options if you want to customize the animation. I'm going to leave it as default. Now, let's take a quick preview of the animation once we have done the changes, as you can see here. Once you're happy with the animation, you can click this export button in the top right corner. Next, choose the video resolution. I'll go with 720p and then click the export button. It will then start the export process, which is fairly quick. But the time it takes to render the video will depend on the specific template you choose, and this one rendered just in a few seconds. You'll get a confirmation once the export is complete, and the video is automatically downloaded to your browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but that's pretty much it. You can check this showcase of many logo animation templates that I rendered using my logos. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.